Cell salvage and hemodilution are two medical procedures that patients and their doctors may decide to use to avoid blood transfusions. Both procedures involve using the patient's own blood, and the surgical team makes every effort to ensure that the patient's blood never leaves the closed surgical system. Cell salvage is a way to recycle a patient's own blood during or after surgery. During surgery, doctors gently suction the blood a patient loses. This blood is collected in a container called a reservoir, where blood thinning medicine is added so the blood doesn't clot. Next, the blood is cleaned with salt solution. Then, the red blood cells are separated from the rest of the blood and the blood thinner that was added earlier. Finally, the concentrated red blood cells are given back to the patient. Cell salvage can also be done after surgery for a short period of time. If the patient loses blood through a wound drain, it can be collected, washed, and given back to them. Hemodilution is a procedure doctors use to reduce the number of red blood cells lost during surgery. It involves removing some of the patient's blood at the beginning of the operation, putting it on rockers to prevent clotting, and replacing it with non-blood liquid to maintain the right volume of blood. With this procedure, any blood a patient loses during surgery is diluted. That means the patient loses fewer red blood cells. At the end of surgery, the blood removed at the beginning is given back to the patient. Cell salvage and hemodilution can be used individually or together as part of an overall strategy for conserving blood during bloodless surgery.